I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny. What's up? I have a problem with Lisa. She said that I hit her. <sighs> what? Well, did you? No, it's not true. Don't even ask. Spoons, spoons, spoons. Oh. Okay. The bridge is out. Not in the future, it isn't. Very nice. Okay. That's unexpected. I want to say there's one here, but... There! <sighs> Time spoon. Two, two left. Hi, Johnny. What can I get you? I think he asks for coffee. Whatever. This guy. No, wait. They're always trying to push yeah, cheesecake. They're really in this pushing place. it hard. I'll have the cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking episode of Golden Girls here. <laughs> Our billionth customer. I knew we could count on you, Danny. I love how the only shots they can get of these people in the movie are like side side profiles. shots. Yeah, it's yeah, so yeah. So carny. So, Danny, how is the cheesecake? It's amazing, Johnny. You should try some. No thanks, even though I bought some. Sure but... did. Too late anyway. I just ate it all. Thanks for paying for my cheesecake, Johnny. See ya. Maybe I just paid for his, I don't know. Fuck you. I guess I should be getting home now. All right, I have to go pee. I don't need to pee pee, okay. Like there's, there's, there's red, um, like plastic spoons right there. Yeah, but those those don't count. It's, just, it's been another long, eventful day of not getting the promotion. But it's like I really bought this early. Yeah. Got her friend. Don't worry. Oh, you take that. Yeah. Don't worry. You can trust me. Your secret is safe with me. Hello, Michelle. I heard you. What secret? It's between us women. Hi, Johnny. Did you get a new dress? Uh, well, I guess I better be going. I'll just talk to you guys later. Excuse me. Lisa, remember what I told you. If you walked in... I know. <laughs> if that was happening... I know. What's going on, guys? What's she talking about? It's girl talk. I just told you that. I never hit you. You shouldn't have any secrets from me. I am your future husband. You sure about that? <laughs> Maybe I'll change my mind. Don't talk like that. What do you mean? What do you think? Women change their minds all the time. <laughs> you must be kidding, aren't you? Look, I don't want to talk about it. I'm gonna go upstairs, wash up, and go to bed. It's fucking 5 p.m. That's all, all we do is find the reason oh, to How dare you talk to me like that! You should tell me everything! I can't talk right now. Why, Lisa? Why is that? Please, talk to me, please! You are part of my life! You are everything! I cannot go on without you, Lisa! You're scaring me! You're lying! I never hit you! You're tearing me apart, Lisa! <laughs> Why are you so hysterical? Do you understand life? Do you? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Everything will be alright. That's up to four now. You drive me crazy! Good night, Johnny. Don't worry about it! <laughs> I still love you. Good night, Lisa. That's an awkward going to bed. <sighs> it's like it's mentally and physically draining only to hear that. Yay, Saturday. It's fun day. I at least today I don't get told I don't have the promotion. That's true. Depending That's true. on your bank. No not promotions today. Yeah. I wear this today. Got my little workout outfit. Axel? A little bit. Any messages? Don't like the calls. 
think we ever... No, we got one in the fireplace. I forget here. But we're still down two, and is I don't that, know... Is that music icon straight up to change the music soundtrack? No, the top right. Yeah, it's just... Just to okay. turn it off. So! What happens on Saturday? I don't know. I think... Maybe palling around in the alley? Pallyway. Saturday, April 19th. 2003, Johnny and I chilled on the roof and tossed the football around. I told him my feelings about Lisa and he said she just sees me as a friend. We hit the coffee shop afterwards and I got the billion cheesecake. A billion is a lot of cheesecakes. Then we went to the movies and saw the latest Tommy Wiseau flick. Mm, I don't know about that line. Mm. It's a little self-aware. Yeah. It was awesome. But I couldn't stop thinking about kissing Lisa someday. Yeah. We gotta, we gotta uh, just check around. Not one. All those water bottles in the garbage. <laughs> Attention to detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it. Saturday is. It says right there on the schedule, actually. Saturday is toss the football around. No, no, no. Best, best friend, friend night. night. Tomorrow's the football. Oh, did you see they gave a date for Best Friends Volume One on VOD and like video and shit? For real, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's in. I think it's this month. Is it Saturday? It's not Saturday, no. unfortunately. M many Blu-rays and and. What? Yeah, remember that guy, Mike? I think. Is he it's the glasses guy? No, it's a guy that like has sex in Johnny's apartment with that girl, and he's like, "Oh, a drop oh, box." Oh God, the random. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh, I forgot my underwear or whatever. Look at his spray. Hey, Johnny, what's going on? Excellent. Oh, hi, Mike. What's new? Actually, Johnny, I've got a little bit of a tragedy on my hands. Uh huh. Me and Michelle, we were making out uh, at your place. <laughs> And, uh, Lisa and Claudette sort of walked in on us. In the middle of it. That's not the end of the story. <laughs> Go on, I'm listening. Okay, we're going at it, and, uh, I get out there as fast as I possible. Well, you know, I get my pants and my shirt, and I get out of there. And then about halfway down the stairs, I realize... I've misplaced. I forgot something. Mm-hmm. Uh, my underwear. <laughs> so I come back to get it, you know, and I pretend that I need a book. You know, like I'm looking for a book. <laughs> and I reach in, I put the underwear in my pocket, and I sort of slide out real quick. Well, Claudette, she saw it sticking out of my pocket. She pulls it out, and she's, uh... She's showing everybody my underwears. You must be kidding. Underwear. I got the picture. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do. That's life. Oh. Uh. Like, look at these Muppets. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Mike. Oh, hi, Danny. You guys want to play some football? I got to go see Michelle in a little bit to make out with her. <laughs> Oh, come on. Come on, Mike. Let's do it. Come on. All right. Whatever. Let's go for it. I'm going out. Yeah, sorry you had to see that. I'm not sorry. <laughs> Click. Yeah. Almost as much as I was. <laughs> Studying, right? Well... And I'm so I think it, it has to be in that little white I don't over. study like that. <laughs> he doesn't. Haha, <laughs> 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 so awkward. <laughs> Hey! Hey, Denny, what's up? Like, what? what? Like, Mark just decides I'll go in the alley and see who's there, you know? So it's the spot. 
What's up, Mark? Oh, hi, Mark. What's going on, man? Not too much. How about you guys? He was just telling us about an underwear issue he has. Dude, don't! Underwear? What's that? <laughs> Dude, it's, it's embarrassing, man. I don't want to get into it. Underwear? Man, come on. Oh! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> you okay? Are you alright? Are you okay? Yeah. Are you sure? It's so uh -huh. weird and Marie just eats shit for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. so strange. Want to go see a doctor? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm alright. I'm fine. I'm gonna take him home. Mark, why don't you take him home? <laughs> and Mike, listen, if you need anything, call me anytime, alright? Okay. See you guys. See you guys. <laughs> oh. Let's go home, Denny. I stink now, too. Yeah, well, big sports. Well, cause, uh, yeah, big sports equals big stink. Big stink for big Everyone sports. Everyone knows this. Everyone has trouble with the car. Thanks for walking me home, Johnny. See ya. He's gonna be like, I can't go in, I'm too stinky. Very smelly game. Big smells happening all the time. That's how you pass the time. I've already seen this I've thing, already seen so it, it does, so it's, it's, not, it's no, not shocking. It's not new at all. I like how he lists out the six things that he wants to ask. Like, he knows about the future things, too, yeah, vaguely. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I'm sure Mark's not here, but... There there actually hasn't been anything you need to do here, if you notice. Yeah. We, we saw Mark and Claudette, and that was it. <coughs> I guess just straight to shower. I mean, I, if there's no new locations, then there's probably no new spoons. Yeah, I'm not sure if there is. I think there might be one, but... It's just... Like, it's almost the... Like, the, the, you're, it's actually life. Because your life is take a shower, do whatever you do that day. Go to work. It's pretty much Persona. Yeah, no, it is. I'll just sleep in the bed naked. No, I can't. Uh, I'll just wear the stinky clothes I was wearing. I have to go down and... She's gonna be there. He's not my husband. I know, but Johnny is part of our family. Mom, I don't love Johnny anymore. I don't even like him. I had sex with someone else. You can't be serious. You don't understand. Who? Who is it? I don't want to talk about it. Then why did you bring it up? You don't want to talk about it. Why did you bring it up in the first place? I don't know. You don't know. If you think I'm tired today, wait till you see me tomorrow. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Coming to the party? Sure, I suppose so. I'll record everything. <laughs> How can they say this about me? I don't believe it. I show them. I will record everything! <laughs> record everything! There you go! Mission! I will record everything! Oh, hey, hi, Peter! Hey, there he Peter is! Peter fucking rules! Yeah. Hi, Johnny. I don't understand women, do you, Peter? What man does? What's the problem? They never say what they mean, and they always play games. Okay, um, what do you mean? I have a serious problem with Lisa. Um, I don't think she's faithful to me. In fact, I know she isn't. Lisa, are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I overheard a conversation between Lisa and her mother. What should I do, Peter? This is Lisa we're talking about. Yeah. I don't know what to say. But you are a psychologist. Do you have some advice? It's a complicated situation, Johnny. I mean, you're my friend and I don't get between you and Lisa. But look, if you want to, you should confront her. 
I can't confront her. I want to give her second chance. After all, she's my future wife. You know what they say, love's blind. Well, you got a lot of faith in Lisa. Sometimes life gets complicated, and the unexpected can happen. When it does, we just gotta deal with it. Did you hear the door? Yeah, no one ever rings the doorbell. People just walk they just in walk all the in. fucking they time. They totally just walk in. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Peter. We're just talking about women. Woman, man. Woman just confused me. I have a girl, but she's married. I mean, she's very attractive. It's just... It's driving me crazy. Why didn't you mention this before? Is it anyone I know? Nah, man. You don't know her. I'll never say her name. Can I meet her? I don't think so. It's an awkward situation. <laughs> awkward. You mean she's too old, or you think I would take her away from you? Huh? <laughs> huh? Nah. I have my own problems. Tell me about your problems, Johnny. Peter, you always play psychologist with us. Look, I'm just your friend and I'm just worried about you. Lisa's teased me about whether we are going to get married or not. And we didn't make love in a while, and I don't know what to do. One day. You never know. Look, you should tell her about your feelings, okay? You shouldn't hide them. You two have been together forever. You can work out anything as long as you talk about it. Not always. People are people. Sometimes they just can't see their own faults. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving to a bigger place, man. This is so out of random. I'm making some good money. <laughs> Doing what, motherfucker? <laughs> Look, you should tell her the truth. I mean, you're doing this for your girl, right? <laughs> you're right, Peter. <laughs> is she getting a divorce, Mark? You guys are too much. Are you running Bay at Breakers this year? I am sure. Nah. I'm not doing that this year. <laughs> chicken, Peter. You're just a little chicken. <laughs> they provided it for you. Yeah, that's why I don't have to do it. Well, you call him chicken. I don't. Just don't. I just don't like all the weirdos. There's too many weirdos there. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mind. Mark, do you remember the one with the big tits, the blonde boy one? No, how about the one with the bridal gown and the sign? It's in this conversation, like, what are they fucking talking about? Ha, oh, yeah, can you marry her? I thought I would take her up on it. I never ate so much. Yeah, the barbecue chicken was delicious. Rice, that was cool. <laughs> Rice, that was cool. <laughs> you guys proved my point. You're both weird. You guys want to play cards? No, we can't. I expect Lisa any minute. Hey, come on, man. Who's the king of the house? Yeah, you guys gotta see what she's like before you get married. Speaking of which, how did you meet Lisa? You never told us. Oh, that's a very interesting story. Uh, when I moved to San Francisco with two suitcases, and I didn't know anyone. I hit the YMCA here with a 2000 check, which I couldn't cash. He's a banker, by the way. Why not? <laughs> Well, because it was an out-of-state bank, anyway, I was working as a busboy in a hotel, and she was sitting, drinking her coffee. She was so beautiful, and I say hi to her, and that's how we met. So what's the interesting part? Well, the interesting part is that on her first day, she paid for dinner. What? No tips from your job? Whatever. Do you guys want to eat something? Make sandwiches. Burp, burp. I get kind of stuck on things. That's okay. It's it's hard to navigate Johnny's apartment. Oh man, gotta start with bread. Mark and Peter. So I think I do need to chop bread. Oh my God, you have to actually. Okay, piece by piece. Yeah. So you have to do that each time. Yeah, I think so. Oh man, it's it's much more elaborate than you would ever think. I'm very surprised at how elaborate. <laughs> now, I would if someone made me a sandwich that was just lettuce and 
tomatoes, I'd spit it in their face. Yeah, that's pretty offensive, but if they're a vegetarian or some shit... Then yeah, but no one in this universe is. So fuck that. I'm assuming I need everything. But here's the, Yeah, I was gonna say, like, no cheese or sauce on that's gonna also be awful. I guess, but was this cheese or is this... Well, you can't stack that. You gotta put yeah. the lettuce in first. Yeah. Yeah. I assume that's cheese. Like, my mom is a saint for making me sandwiches when I was a kid. It's too much stuff. Yeah, no cheese. Okay. That's gross. Well, that's what they like. He knows what his friends like. I mean, I get BLT, but BLT still needs a little mayo or There's something. a sandwich for Mark. Now I'll make one for Peter. So I just have to make two now. <laughs> this is very elaborate. I can, I can feel mix JJ screaming at me as I'm playing Overcooked. Alright, mix it up this time. Let's go cheese. No lettuce. Get that cheese in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so yeah. He just needs a, a set amount of components. Now you get the meat in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck the lettuce. Stop going for the lettuce. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry, sorry. Everyone's already screaming at me. There you go. Bam! And we got a kitchen spoon, I forgot. I can go tell Mark and Pierre their sandwiches are ready. But go back into the kitchen and get the You scared them off! Where did Peter and Mark go? They had to run. Denny says hi. But I just made them a snack. Apparently they weren't that hungry. By the way, I stopped by the dress shop to check in. Your tux will be ready tomorrow. Oh great, I'm excited to try it on. Good for you, Johnny. Let's go to bed. It's the universe. What is it? Bed. It's fucking... It's like when you're a bed. kid and your mom are like, you're going to bed now. Like, if there's... Everyone's playing outside! The sun is not even set. Come to bed, Johnny. Yeah. Just tap out of life. Time to pick up my tux! Damn it, I thought it would let me. Ah, let's go for this. If I had a tape, I could listen to it, to it here. Oh, there's two Let places. check. There's no one to call. There's two places to, to... You ever feel like that? You look at your phone, you're like, there's no one to call. Hmm, I don't call people. I can play this in my bedroom tape player. But not when she's there. Oh, fuck it. Who cares? Okay. Well, maybe we won't let me go. Yeah, maybe. Was it just gonna let you do it? There's nothing on the tape yet. Oh, uh, we better bring it back downstairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't fucking die. Also, you already heard everything you needed to hear. Yeah, sure did, Wooly. You're, you're, yeah. You're finding the plot holes. We need to tape it, though. I guess for proof. Alright, get ready. Sunday, April 20th, 2003. I hung out with the guys and tossed the football around in the alley. Mike was telling some weird story about his underwears. I was like, I don't study like that. And Johnny laughed. Then Mark came and sort of accidentally knocked Mike <laughs> over. It was weird. It seemed intentional. <laughs> Whatever. I hung out with Lisa later, but she still won't kiss me. Jesus. I went home with her, but Johnny was in the kitchen, so I gave up and left. Okay. This is the fucking worst world. What do you mean? What's wrong this with it? This entire planet. What's wrong with it? I don't get it. What's, what's your deal? Alright, so I think we just have to go get the tux. 